Okay, today's video, um, well actually I'm going to post two videos, they're going to be filmed separately. Um, and basically, the first video is going to be about the pro and anti fur thing. Now, um, I own two fur coats. People may hate me because of this, but I do. And um, the way I kind of rectify or yeah rectify owning real fur coats is that they're both vintage they're both at least 50 years old they've just been very well kept i know one for definite because my mum used to own it and she bought it from a vintage store around 25 30 years ago and the other one uh, the shop that it came from it's still it's got embroidered on the lining um, the shop and so I could see when the shop closed down um, so number one that I wanted to speak about about real fur is that it's I, I don't agree with buying new fur and if I found out that I had bought new fur uh, when I thought it was vintage I wouldn't be happy at all I don't believe in cruelty to animals or anything like that and you might be saying yeah 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 whatever but I'm sorry if you've ever eaten cheap eggs if you've ever eaten cheap chicken cheap cow or beef or you know or any cheap chops or anything like cheap meat that animal has not had a happy life number one point uh, another point is that if it is vintage then that fur has lasted a lot longer than the anim that what the animal would have. So in the evolutionary terms, it's bad that it's dead, but it's lasted a while. Um, it's going to last a lot longer, and it's probably more environmentally sound because really, what is fake fur made out of? Like polyester. I mean, there's probably a very few which is made out of cotton. And how degradable is polyester? How long does it take to degrade? If you're able to throw away a, a fur, stupid decision. But also, at least you know it's going to biodegrade. It's not going to be chucked to the landfill and, you know, never come out again. You know, it's going to be sat there with the plastic bags. Um, also, another thing is, is that with uh, such companies like uh, factories and stuff which produce you know the, the the synthetic cottons and whatnot um in place of cottons you know how many, much land do they take up how much nature land do they take up and how many environments for animals have they ruined um let me think is there anything else oh yeah also the idea of having a fake fur coat um, it's still promoting fur and if you say yes but I'm being you know politically correct or I don't believe in harming animals you're still promoting it you're buying a fake fur coat to to look like a real fur coat you're still promoting fur coats so if you really do disagree in people wearing fur coats then don't buy a fake fur coat don't buy anything that's like a fake like a fur coat, don't buy a leather jacket or a leather coat, don't buy um, sheep skin, don't buy leather shoes, don't buy suede shoes, it's still promoting the act of using animal as as clothing, which is very natural, it's been going around for thousands of years, so I don't see the problem in vintage, because you know that, you know, even if that animal, God forbid, was her then it wasn't it wasn't it, it's lasted a while and it's you know it's, it's not new the damage has already been done and you're also not aiding um the people who are killing animals you're buying it off markets you're helping local tra local trade or from a charity shop or whatever. I mean, these are the places I've got coats from. So, like I saw a coat in the British Heart Foundation 
and uh, markets, you know, local rag trade and all that. Um, yeah, also, you know, if you do wear leather shoes, it's the same principle. So I, I don't get why there's such an emphasis on fur. So an emphasis on fur should be on everything. Don't pick and choose. Don't carry a leather handbag and be like, I don't agree with animal cruelty to make clothes because yes it is wrong but you're picking and choosing your battles um yes so now we move on to the bit where i bought a coat couple of, um let's say about a week ago and oh it's had that musky smell so anyone who has that musky smell problem what you're meant to do is stick it in a, a black bag put it in the freezer for three days take it out let it defrost or whatever and then put a load of coffee in like ground coffee and then it'll suck up the smell um i only did the coffee because there's no room in the in the um freezer because i'm largely um and yeah that just gets rid of the smell um after i put left it in for five days because I didn't put it in the freezer and then afterwards I used some dry shampoo and just like sprayed it and that's made the smell go away so you can wear the coat. Uh, but otherwise yeah just keep it in a cool place and don't let it get rained on <laughs> too often and if it doesn't hang it out to dry and let it dry out really well. Um, yeah so if you have any opinions upon that comment. And thank you for watching and spending your time with me.